Welcome back. Glad you popped in. In today's video, we're going to have some interesting things. I'm going to share with you some 3D printed garden gems. I'm going to explain the Barefoot Gardener project and three questions that I have for you. Uh, let's begin with the questions. As this is my very beginning of my YouTube adventure, I have much to learn and I want to reach out to you and ask for advice. So question number one, and please um, respond in the comments below if you don't mind. Uh, question number one is, what do you like about my channel so far? Question two, what would you like to see more of or less of? And question three, what can I share with you that would motivate you to subscribe? I really appreciate your feedback. Uh, it'll definitely help me along my journey. So, let's get started. April 5th, let's see where we are today. Some of my marigolds are doing really well, coming up nicely. Uh, some of them are slow to germinate. And those are the ones that I pulled from my garden from last year, so we'll see. Um, if they're not up in the next few days, then I'll plant some different seeds. Now the corn, a step back, is doing super well. Maybe we'll end up putting it in a cold frame outside, I'm not sure. It depends how big it gets. The onions are coming along. And back here, we have, let's see if I get the camera in there proper. Um, where are we here? There we are. Uh, the cantaloupe peppers, tomatoes, and look at the squash back there. Wow. I'm going to have to get in there and, and do some stringing up, I think. Those are the begonias that I planted. They're not up yet. Begonias. These begonias are doing well. Those three from last year don't look like they're up. So I have to do a little bit of watering this morning, but that's an update on April 5th. More to come. Check this out. Every evening my tomatoes seem to get this wilted look on them, like they're not happy. It's not that they don't have any water or that they're overwatered. They're just simply not happy. Yet, in the morning, when I check on them, they look just fine. So I'm not sure what's going on. So if you have any idea what's happening here, please comment in the bottom and help me out. So my son made me this topper for watering. So I no longer spray because there's plants up. But look how cool this is. Look, watch. Isn't that the coolest thing? And it's got a long reach on it, so I can reach way back over here. Look at that. That is so cool. And he 3D printed that. And it fits my water bottle perfectly. It'll fit a uh, pop bottle, like a plastic pop bottle, uh, even a two liter bottle. So I, uh, I took this off and I put that on and now I can water my plants and reach them because Lord knows I need a good reach here. So isn't that the coolest thing? Thanks, Ben. Not only did Ben 3D print this cool topper for my water bottle, but as you can see in the background, I have the um, markers for my pots and he 3D printed those as well. And he 3D printed two sizes. This size for my pot seedlings. And this I put out in the garden. Um, so I am very fortunate to have a son that is so talented. It's such a beautiful sunny morning. I'm just doing a bit of a to-do list and you know some cleanup that I have to do um, this little heart 
heart thing. I had three of them. A friend gave them to me. And they just deteriorated completely. This is the last one. So this spring, I'm going to have to break it, back, break it down and shovel the dirt and clean it all up. And then I'm going to have some pots here. I had... Um, I had uh, black-eyed Susans growing up the vine, which was really, really cool. So that's a cleanup that I need to do. Um, pull the sweet peas off the sweet pea vine, growing our uh, trellis, I mean. And uh, I think we're getting some spinach coming up here. I'm not quite sure. There's a few little green things coming up. Um, He's my little turtle. His teeth are darling. That's the most cutest thing ever. I love him. His name is Turter. And uh, my parsley is up and looking lovely. And um, some more herbs. And I got an onion there that kind of showed up. And some onions back there with some dandelions. So I uh, have some cleanup to do. All of those dead things there are marigolds from last year. I do have a grape. It's a valiant grape. We'll see how that wintered. I'm not sure it wintered. It's hard to say because there's never any snow there, but we did have a pretty mild winter. Um, lots of cleanup here. I planted Cosmos last year, and oh my goodness, they took over. They were like six feet high and just everywhere, and they kind of covered my irises, so I'll have to see what... Uh, how my irises have survived. Back here I have a de uh, delphinium and a bleeding heart. And this over here, I tried to grow clematis. I don't know, I just don't seem to be able to grow a clematis. So I've given up on clematis and that's where my cucumbers are gonna grow. And then uh, we put a little water fountain in there and have the bird feeder and they love it. And so do the squirrels, but that's okay. And then here is where I plan to plant my corn, so I've got some work to do there, get rid of the rocks, amend the soil, and uh, clean that up. So there's lots of cleanup. Uh, these are my old tomato pots from last year. This year it's going to be a little different in the greenhouse and outside. I'm going to actually plant some tomatoes outside. Uh, this is my old beans. The asparagus. Now I planted all of this asparagus from seed last year. Where are we here? Here we are. All of this, where are we? Here. I planted all of this asparagus from seed last year. Pretty excited to see how they wintered. Uh, it was quite a good row. I have a little pot over there with some um, chives. This right here is where my garlic is and it's not up yet. And then my squash will be planted there. So you can see I have quite a bit of cleanup to do, but it's again too early. I want to get in there, but I have to control myself and uh, be patient, which is not my strongest virtue. More to come. It's April 5th. Where does the time go? Oh my goodness. I wanted to share with you this chair and the barefoot gardening project. So these chairs are meant to be for outside. I like to garden in my bare feet as a lot of people do. And uh, here's my little visitor there come to say hello and check out what I'm doing. So what this is about is after gardening in bare feet, your feet get really dirty. And so what I've come up with is an idea that I think I would really like is a chair to sit on. And I have purchased some old uh, basins. And so you get to sit on your beautiful chair that decorates your garden and put your feet in warm water and wash your feet 
So this chair is was meant to be for someone and she has decided that it's not really what she was expecting and, and has asked that I do something different. So this chair will be available for anyone that wants to purchase it. But the basin will also have um, decorations that match the chair. And then I need to spray the chair to make sure that it is weatherproof and UV protected. More to come on that. I'm starting my second attempt to create a commission piece. Uh, she wants mandalas on it. And so I have done some outlines of some circles right here to start. The, the most intimidating part of starting a painting is that first dab of color. And deciding what colors to use and how it's going to look. And even though you might start with a idea of what you're going to do, I find that my paintings take on a life of their own and become whatever. So this chair will become whatever this chair decides to become. So I am going to get some paints and get started. Come along with me.